Hi, this is Kerry with Learn DaVinci Resolve, and today we're going to take a look at how to use the sound library in DaVinci Resolve. Now, as part of Resolve 16, Blackmagic said that they're going to offer a free Foley library, which will be kind of cool. I mean, if you need Foley effects, uh, I happen to have the whole Adobe sound library as part of my subscription. So I'm going to show you how to use that. And there's other sounds. I mean, you don't, it's not a specific library. It's just a collection of sounds or music that you can put into Resolve and make it easy to access. So let's go ahead and take a look and see how to use the sound library. Okay, let's get into this. This is my sound library I have here with a bunch of different sounds in it. And if we open these up, they're just a bunch of WAV files. So all kinds of cool stuff in here. So let's go ahead and go into DaVinci Resolve. And I'll just uh, create a new timeline here. And um, we go to this uh, link here that says sound library. Pretty simple. And now we want to add to our sound library. So I'm going to click on those three dots right there. Do add library. I'm going to browse over to where my sound library is, which I have in my video assets, sound library, and I'm going to select open. Now we should see uh, a lot of clips here. So it's going to scan them. There's 10,134 clips. Now, one of the problems with the sound library that I see is if you don't know the name or some other field that is recorded with it, like a description, you're not going to be able to find them. There's no way to bring up all of them. There's no way to have folders of in, within the sound library. While it's an okay system, it really is lacking in some key areas in terms of just finding what you have. Now, I'm going to go back to the sound library here. And you see these are all named accordingly to the different categories that they're in. So there's Foley, go down to production elements. So if I know the categories that I have like this, then I can just type in something like this and be able to find it by name. Uh, it's when you have a lot more stuff that you're not really sure of, it, it's going to get really difficult to try and figure out what you have. So that's kind of the downside of the sound library. And I hope black magic addresses that with like a folder structure or something to make using the sound library a lot more useful. So we'll have to see how that plays out in the future. In the meantime, we just need to sit here and wait for all these clips to import. Okay, it's added 10,134 clips out of 10,134 clips. So that's good, it didn't skip any. Okay, and now what, right? Um, and this is the thing that I don't really like is, like I said, you have to know uh, like a file name. So if I type in human, then I can find all the ones that have the word human in them. And that's okay, I guess. But like I said, it, it's really not the best way of, of doing it, I think. I think there's probably better ways. So let's type in production. And if we click on one, we can play it. Ooh, that's kind of neat. And weather. Let's see what this one's like. Oh, that's kind of neat. Little rain thing going on here. And do we have some lightning? Oh, nice. And 
so just adding these is just as simple as just dragging it in. So it's not very complicated of a system. It, like I said, it works. It could be better. The searching definitely could be better. That there's only the only options are name or description for the filter by, and you can choose which database they're in. So if you have multiple databases, you can choose which database the sound library is in. So you can give them different ratings, and I'm not really sure what that does because um, there's no option to sh sort by the rating. So um, I do like that I can go left and right and kind of go through them real quick if I want to, hit space. And that's really it for the sound library. So while uh, a lot of people are excited about Blackmagic releasing a Foley library, um, many of us already have it. If you have the Adobe subscription, um, you can look at the uh, audition uh, documentation and it will show you where to get the Foley library. So, let's see, oh, small bells. And I want to, I actually was looking earlier for like a book. Oh, look, there is a book. Um, uh, that's book closing, page flipping maybe. Oh, look at that. That's exactly what I needed earlier. And here it is. So that's the sound library. Well, I hope this was something new and interesting for you. Um, it's a very simple system for just cataloging well, or managing or, I guess, uh, using a set of sounds without having to import them in every time. Um, I do wish there were some additional features to it. Maybe we'll, we can suggest some things that Blackmagic can add in the future. But thanks for watching, everybody. If you like these videos, give me a big thumbs up. If you don't, well, make it a thumbs down. But let me know what you didn't like so I can make the videos better. Be sure and subscribe and check that bell icon to get notified whenever I put out a new video. As always, folks, thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.